He is a terrorist. He is a criminal. He is an extremist. But he will, when I speak, be nameless. Jacinda Ardern's extraordinary speech to Parliament. Here's a summary of the article. We cannot know your grief, but we can walk with you at every stage. I know we all wish to acknowledge that their acts put the safety of New Zealanders above their own, and we thank them. I'd like to talk about some of the immediate measures currently in place especially to ensure the safety of our Muslim community, and more broadly the safety of everyone. We have seen in countries that know the horrors of terrorism more than us, there is a pattern of increased tension and actions over the weeks that follow that means we do need to ensure that vigilance is maintained. A community welfare centre has been set up near the hospital in Christchurch to make sure people know how to access support. I acknowledge every member of this house that has stood alongside their Muslim community but especially those in Canterbury as we acknowledge this double grief. We wish for every member of our communities to also feel safe. This post received a score of 33,684, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If you want to watch it. Video of the PM's statement. For people wondering what some things mean. Kiwi specific things, mostly Maori words that entered Kiwi English, but also that FPOS thingy. We can, and will surround you with aroha, love, manakitanga, the process of showing respect, generosity and care for others, also hospitality, and all that makes us, us, after grabbing the nearest thing at hand, a simple, fpos, machine, card payment machine, in aus, nz, we are one. They are us. Tato tato, hard to translate exactly, but basically same meaning as English part. Arabic parts. Opening with, as salam. Greater than can't tell about the ending in Arabic, but opening with as salamu alaikum, peace be upon you, the ending bit, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullaha wa barakatuh basically means, may the peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you. It's like the extended version of what you say to greet people and say goodbye in Islam, assalamu alaikum. It sounded horrible to a speaker, but I really appreciate the sentiment of ending her speech with that. A really nice notion to top off a great speech. Well, that is the way to do it. I heard her interview on Colbert and she sounded like such a well-balanced individual. You may or may not agree with the policies of a political leader but there is no denying of someone being classy. I like this lady. Interview source from last fall. I like her. Yeah that's the New Zealand way. Because we are by nature unimportant we're all pretty laid back. Come to NZ. You'll have a nice time. We like visitors. NZ is on the top of my list of places to visit. Sounds like a wonderful place with truly amazing people. It is. I just visited late last year. Beautiful country with loads to see, do and wonderful people everywhere I went. Everyone we spoke to did their best to make us feel welcome, which was lovely. Pretty multicultural too from what I saw, which means lots of good food. Plus I love how they're making a massive effort to recognize and promote Maori culture, which is incredibly fascinating. It's pretty nice, been here for about four months from the States. Just make sure you have a good support network to anyone reading this if you move somewhere. Personally, I was a little homesick for a bit and that hits at times. But, it's a lovely country and screw anyone who tries to ruin that vibe. Also, roundabouts. Roundabouts are 1,000 times better than lights in many situations. From Aus, visited NZ North Island a few years ago, so very tempted to move there. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.